Hello. Hello. It's us. It's us. We're back. We were just having a lovely day in the pool and we realized we've never given a backyard tour before. How rude. Not, a, not an official backyard tour. You guys have probably seen it on our home reno videos, which you can watch here or on Instagram. But yeah, so we figured it is probably the hottest day of the year thus far. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And what better time than now to give a unofficial official backyard tour. That's the perfect name. Yeah. When things are in bloom, things are looking fresh. Yep. The grass is looking green. We have some exciting... It is exciting. It's not really news. It'll be news to you. We have a sponsor for this video. Mm -hmm. Today's video is sponsored by the one and only Abercrombie and Fitch. Where probably half of our wardrobe is from. Literally 50 per I think everything I have on now, not, not by coincidence, Same. is... Abercrombie. I love a linen tee. Little, little linen Henley. Wow. Oh, look. Look at these swim, swim trunks. Is that the best way to show them off? But I really like this, but we'll talk about that later. Um, okay, M my little bathing suits. Since it's a, um, we're showing you our backyard and we do have a pool in our backyard, we figured why not show you some of our favorite summer things mm -hmm. from Abercrombie. So without further ado, let the tour commence. This is not going to be Architectural Digest style. This is going to be real. Let's try to find the best lighting in each part. And, and this is just like what our yard happens to look like right yeah, now. Yeah. We didn't do any prep work to get to it no. to this place. Before we get started, give me a little more deets on your current outfit. Okay, this is my favorite shirt currently that I own. Really comfortable. And these are my new suits, which at first I didn't like, but then you convinced me to get them, and now I really like them. Yeah, I really like them. I feel like these are the Willy Wonka gates. Welcome to our backyard. I do not have a stabilizer, and I am working on rocks. But this is our little... Entrance. Our beautiful blue hydrangeas, we planted them when they were just tiny and now they have grown to essentially create a whole hedge, which we are very excited about. Put in these little pavers and we luckily have grass in this area this year. Which is huge because last year we did not. The grass did not take in between this and it just looked like a pile of moss. Oh, we have a visitor. Come on. At least she knocks. That's our shed. I'm not gonna open the shed because it is kooky crazy in there right now. Oh wait, we have one singular rose on this bush that we transplanted when we bought the house. It's been so hot, it's kind of burning out, but look how pretty. It's cute though. <laughs> so we just came from here and we're gonna go this way. I got it, we're playing, we're playing with the, by the sun. So this is like our yardiest of the yard. Right, yardiest. The yardiest, the greeniest and most lusciousness of our yard. Everything else is taken by pool or pool chairs, but this is the view. <laughs> Big enough to dance and twirl and play with friends. That's our hammock. Note to anyone who's thinking about getting a white hammock. Uh, don't do it. <laughs> it sucks. Probably not the best. And you can't take this stuff off and wash this thing, so... Anyway, yeah, we have hydrangeas pretty much around the entire perimeter of the yard. The ones up there, which we'll get to are different, but that's it for now. This is our deck, but it's so bright out. We might have to wait to show you that till a little later. Anyway, if you watched any of our home reno videos, you probably saw what this looks like, but this is all brand new. Everything in the house is brand new. Everything outside of the house is brand new. Well, it's two years old now, but new enough to us. Also very proud to say that we designed the backyard. Yeah, we designed and single-handedly planted every flower. Not the trees, we didn't plant the trees, but we did plant every single flower. This is our lounging area. We did a concrete pool, which is called like gunite, but that way the dog can't rip the liner. And super easy to clean and take care of. We just send our little robo vacuum 
clean it up. We've reached another grassy, uh, luscious grassy area. These are all of our limelight hydrangeas, so they get really big white blooms on them, but they don't really bloom until end of July, August. So everything comes in different stages. So at some point, every point of the summer, there is blooming luscious greens. Let's take them to the garden, which you've seen all of our garden stuff. We've done a million videos on that. Oh, I didn't see you there. Oh, hey. Just tending to my herbs. Oh, what we did this year. We have two rosemary plants because rosemary is my favorite herb and you can't have enough. This was a pepper plant that we got and it is the hottest pepper that you can plant, I am pretty sure. Whoa! I don't know what we're planning on doing with that, but we'll see. Then, Right here, we have thyme. And then here we have lemon thyme. So this is thyme. Lemon thyme? Essenced with lemon. I don't know how that works, but it's a thing. Okay, we have three very healthy, happy basil plants. We make pesto and whipped basil ricotta cheese all the time, so we really use it. Then we have sage and lemon sage. Nice, good job. These are our tomato plants. We have 22 this year. We only planned on having 10, but a lot of our plants from last year reseeded, and so we thought, why not give them a chance? So all the ones in the green cages we bought this year as little babies, and they've grown, and all the ones in the cages over here are reseeded. I mulched, I irrigated the whole thing myself, and we're excited. So yeah, we have 22 different plants, probably 11, 12, 13, I don't know, like 15 different varieties maybe. Which one are you most excited for? The, I really like the little cherry tomatoes because you can just come over, like get out of the pool, grab one and eat them like little snacks. Mm -hmm. um, here are our roses, but they need to be we need to deadhead them so they grow back. Should we show them all the other Abercrombie swimmies we got? Yes. Okay. Let's show you what we got from Abercrombie. Let's do it. I think everyone needs a pair of like seersucker blue and white striped swim trunks. I actually have these exact same ones in the five inch, but these are the A&F Cabana three inch, which I like, it's what I'm wearing now. And they have like, the compression. compression so you don't chafe your thighs. These are in the seersucker, which I like. And then I also liked- A summer staple, I might add. Yeah, I also like, these kind of look like those boxers that people used uh, to wear like yeah, in yeah, the yeah, early yeah, 2000s, yeah. and I just really like that kind of vibe. These are the relaxed five inch swim trunk, but they also still have the compression. So and they're not really compression. It's like, you know how swim trunks have that netting? It's like underwear. It's like underwear, but anyway, the point is your thighs don't chafe. My turn. So I got these, which we love. I've already been wearing them. Um, I like those a lot. Okay, these are a little funky, but they're very fun for summer. I like them. No, especially when you have a nice tan. Definitely. And are they floral? <laughs> a and F five inch relaxed Trunk, and then I think my favorite one. I like the fit. Yeah, they're, it's like so. They're the resort short, the five inch resort short. They have a button, and they have like this cool detail button. So they look kind of like shorts. So like you could wear these out to lunch, but then to the beach. You know what I mean? From beach to dinner. When I say that 50% of our entire wardrobe is probably from Abercrombie and Fitch, not lying. If you would have told me that when I was. 18, probably would have thought you were lying. But here we are. Love it. You know it. what I mean? Like they look like just regular shorts. Yeah, with a little white button up. Right. These are the Relax 5 inch. Oh, your glasses. But 5 inches is still like, 5 inches is a good length if you want to be like a little more conservative but still like show a little Velcro. Oh, for snacks. Let's check out the rest of the yard. Okay, so here we have all of our lavender. Lavender has probably been the most finicky of plants for us, but it smells, I wish you could smell this. So here's, we're a little late for my butterfly bee garden. This was once a very thriving, colorful garden. Right here is our little dining table where we have dinner parties, lunch parties, soirees. Our lovely outdoor furniture where we spend most of our time. Which we love. It's actually the most 
comfortable outdoor furniture I've ever been in. These are Rosebud Impatience. You can tell that the side in the shade is doing way better than the side in the sun because they need mostly shade, but it is so hot that they are struggling a little bit. Taylor built this. It's so cute. A mishmash of color. All right, guys, I think that's it. Thank you again, Abercrombie, for sponsoring this video. We're big fans, so make sure you guys check out all of the summer swim that we talked about, and we will see you in the next video. Bye.